Bruce Walker works with some very prolific musicians, even though you might call their talent accidental. The shark comes and goes, you hear that dom, 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 no low pitch thing. They're fish, and as they dart around this small tank in a lab at Georgia Tech, their movements not only create harmony, but could help the visually impaired appreciate nature's beauty. Helping people do the fun stuff that help them experience a movie, that help them uh, be creative, do any kind of artwork, or do any kind of uh, sporting or leisure activity. A camera uses recognition software to track each fish by shape and color. A computer then links each movement to different instruments. The instruments change in tempo and pitch as the fish patrol the tank. Fish that move toward the surface have higher pitch, and the faster they move, the faster the tempo. Walker and his colleagues hope to install their invention in aquariums and zoos across the nation, letting those who can't see experience the animals through their ears. Beyond music, Walker says there are plenty of other applications for the software. For one, it could help biologists track the behavior of the fish so they can watch if they're swimming slower, closer to the surface, or acting more aggressively. For example, hey, why is the whale shark kind of moving slow today? Or why are those uh, other fish nipping at each other? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? And just recently, Walker's fish got some competition. Well, here its pitch goes up. This guy is the hi-hat. His software has been used to track insects, even kids playing soccer. So by finding the music in everything, he can open a world of experiences to everyone. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, Atlanta.